Hey, good morning, everyone. Tractor Man 44 here. Hey, I'm back over to Much Older Brother's shop. He called me a couple of days ago. We had a little bit of a happening with his uh, 580 case backhoe. Might need a little help troubleshooting here, folks, but uh, can you help me figure out what's wrong with, uh, with his loader? All joking aside, you know, I told y'all we don't ever throw anything away. And I've got a newer uh, 580 case myself, and I had got in a situation where I had to, to replace one of my lift cylinders. Uh, simply because I physically could not get it apart, and I kind of ruined the end of it, you know, getting it apart. No big deal. Bought a used one for 150 bucks. I was back in business, but I saved that old cylinder. So we're going to be able to dismantle that old cylinder and get him the ram that he needs to make the repair on his. So see, it pays not to throw that stuff away. So he's got it over there on the chain vise. I'm going to go ahead and chain this down. I'm going to weld a pin through this on that steel bench. That bench is a three-quarter inch material, so it's not going to it's not going to move or anything. Now what he's done, he's taken a piece of three quarter inch square stock and he heated it up and bent it into a, a C shape and went ahead and welded it around. Then once he got it welded around the uh, the ram, heated it up and bent it the rest of the way and then welded it the rest of the way, relying on the heat of that weld to uh, to possibly break that rust that's holding these threads together inside there. And then also to protect the ram, he took some uh, PVC and just cut it in half and put it on there to make sure the weld splatters don't land on that right there. And we're going to leave it on because we're going to put a big old pipe wrench on this and see if we can give this a little bit of a movement. In, in case it goes to rotating or sliding through the, uh, the bench mount chain vise, he's got a, a, a chunk of steel through the uh, eyelet on the other end and off the edge of the bench so it can't, uh, it can't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's moving. Okay, come on up. There we go. Handy, or you got big channel locks now. There you go. Keep it tight. I think we can move it now. Yeah. After he had this all heated up, after he got done with the weld, he went ahead and used candle wax and he stuck candle wax all around this, this uh, packing in and then let that candle wax drive in there. So uh, a combination of the heat and that wax and of course the, <laughs> the pipe wrench is uh, what allowed us to be successful. I didn't do any grunting at all, he did all the grunting. So now it's got to come the rest of the way apart and then he'll go about the business of uh, exchanging this with the, with the one that's broke. Well, I pulled with everything I had, and I could barely get it to move about four inches or so. So what uh, what he's in the process of doing is rigging up just a small. We have several come-alongs of different capacities, but he's just rigging up a small. We we don't need much more. And he's going to go to his uh, four by four, four by four upright over there for his overhead hoist. And we're going to go ahead and put that come-along on there. We're going to make her come out with that uh, little bit of mechanical advantage. Boy, you had one fella that really liked your hat the other day. Huh? You had one fella said he really liked your hat. Oh, yeah. He said, tell your, tell your brother I really like his hat. Yeah. So once he gets that hooked up, we're going to go ahead and put that thing in gear and do a little bit of tugging over here on this end. These little cumbalongs are just as handy as can be. I carried one in my company truck for years, you know, for lifting and moving compressors. Uh, I've changed compressors sometimes, weigh 800, 900 pounds, just by using these little uh, come-alongs. Oh, yeah. Here, take that ball and pull it back in. 
We're all the way back to him. Lost the washer, didn't it? Yeah. Well, we were reasonably successful in going ahead and taking this part. Didn't pinch no fingers, didn't uh, lose any blood or anything. And we got the new ram laying here ready to be assembled with some of the old parts and pieces and maybe some new packing. And then go back, ass uh, assemble back into his tube so he can get his uh, 580 back on the road again. Uh, there's nothing worse than being down without a tractor, you know what I mean? So, uh, well, of course, he's got other tractors, but that's the only one he's got that's a loader tractor. And that's really important back here, where, where we live. And so, you know what? This is Trackman 44, and I'm out of here, guys.